So this is a topic that doesn't get talked about often enough. I think it should be discussed more often. Uh, I know that camera manufacturers do listen to their customers because I have seen the changes throughout the years in terms of this. What I'm talking about is the camera connections and plugs. Given I've seen Runcam and Foxier make a number of changes in this regard, uh, it's obvious that they're listening to the customers. The problem is that given it's hard to please everybody, I don't think they've settled in a system that actually seems to work for the most people. And they seem to not have a consistent approach to it. Putting aside the new solder pad cameras by Foxier, we're going to specifically talk about the plug types. Um, this camera here, this is an older Runcam Mini, and it uses my preferred style of plug, which is having the OSD plug separate from the main power and video plug, right? Um, this one has the 5 volt, or I mean the, the power ground and video, which is just three pins, and then it has uh, ground and OSD for the OSD. This is essentially the same thing. The only difference is it has an extra pin because it has a, a OSD pin to monitor voltage. So basically four pins on this side and then two for the OSD and ground. Here we have, this is a Pred Predator B4, by the way, by Fox here. And here we have a run cam racer two. This one has a similar approach to that, except it has a positive ground video VBAT for monitoring the voltage. And then it has the UART send and receive or ground and OSD. This camera features uh, the ability to control via a joystick or a dongle and also via a UART. Um, some of these cameras can only do one or the other. But my point is that there are two pins for that job. This uses a full plug, just a single plug with all the wires on it. So oftentimes I find I have to repin these in order to fit this approach. For example, this guy right here, I'm actually moving them all to Predator V4s and I have this three pin plug here from Runcam and I kind of have to remove this guy to install one of these even though it doesn't need it necessarily I want to be able to have just four pins going into here even though I'm only going to use three of the pins for wiring because I'm not going to do the OSD but I like it that it'll fit the, through the four pin hole and kind of like the whole thing, see? Instead of me just shoving a three pin into there. And that's all good and well, because all I gotta do really is I'll just lift these carefully. I know some guys end up cutting these and get different plugs and then wire them in, but all you really gotta do is with a knife like this, you just lift the tab a little bit and then yank out, well not yank out, I just slowly pull out the wire like so. It's a little tricky but with an X-Acto knife because it's so t uh, sharp you slowly lift up the pins like that. I'm, I'm trying to do this around the camera so it's actually a lot easier than it seems right now. Okay. Almost there. Come on, there we go, up, and out. Okay, so now that I have these, all I gotta do is pin them into this four pin plug, and I'm golden. Now, what I really want to bring up here is um, this guy. This is a Falcor V2, same as the Falcor V1, it has a very annoying plug that I've seen before on other Foxier cameras. I don't know if Runcam is, um, what is it, uh, guilty of this, but I know that Caddx has done it and Foxier has done it here and there. This right here is perfect. This is the way things should be, like this Predator before. And I also don't mind the single plug 
because all I got to do is pin them into a, you know, six or seven plug, pin plug. They're not a problem. But this guy, this is what's really annoying. The problem with these is that the ground for the OSD is shared. So you got this ground and then you got your OSD, but for that OSD to work with your uh, joystick, there's a ground that goes into there. So what you end up having, if you look at the connector here, actually this is another right one, this one. There you go. Notice, hopefully you can see that in the camera, that there's a V going into the ground. In other words, it's sharing the ground pin and that's incredibly annoying and the reason it's incredibly annoying is because if your quad does not have this harness in there already you cannot simply switch out cameras easily and because if I want to wire this guy into here guess what my OSD is not going to work and crimping one of these things with a V, it's nearly impossible. I have the crimpers, I have the connectors, but they're so tiny, I can never get it done. So yeah, this is a no-go. I really do not like it when they share a ground like this. There's no reason why they should not simply add an extra ground pin on this side, and there that way it fits all cameras. Repinning to different size plugs is super easy. It's that V that's annoying. So, um, yeah, if you guys uh, have contacts with the manufacturers that make these cameras, feel free to share this video. Let them know that this is not good. I can't believe that the Falker V2 that has only been out recently, and I believe it came out after the Predator before, does not adopt a system like this that actually works. Or even if they use one plug, at least have a separate ground for the OSD. Anyway that is my rant so hopefully um it helps you understand the difference between these camera plugs and uh, you know helps you make a choice when it comes to wiring cameras up all right guys thanks for watching please like this video subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next one